point out contradictions, things that might just be legends, and missing the Uh, good morning, here I am in the outback of Australia. Uh, I'd like to collect some of that salt. Uh, what I can see tracks of kangaroo, uh, emu, actually it's a pretty big emu. Uh, I'll show you. This is my hand. So that's a big emu. Uh, I'll grab some of this salt I think, hopefully I don't sink. It's very hard. Crusty. You can see black underneath. Uh, but this is the Australian Outback, and as you can see. Uh, Quite desolate, uh, but very beautiful. So here I am, back home, about a thousand kilometres from where I got this sample. Uh, and all I'm going to do is pour it in this container and add some water. I'll use two hands, I think. I'm just going to shake him up. The salt will dissolve into the solution and all the rest of the matter will uh, fall to the bottom. It'll be black. It's as black as black. That's incredible. Okay, so I'll let that settle overnight and it's now lunchtime. The two layers just. There's the mud. There's our water. So I'm just going to extract that. Um, it's so salt laden, it actually smells like, like salt, really. Um, remember that guy who was on not so long ago, who was spruiking about the whole Ormus thing. You know, remember that one, the Ormus? Um, remember him? And really, what he was demonstrating is um, uh, demonstrating an, an allegory. It was a really good allegory. Um, for it. actually it was the first matter of the um, of the alchemists a lot of people believed uh, in this guy with his ormus and um, they, you know, advocated the health benefits and all that sort of thing um, yeah so he must have been a knowledgeable person I would say that he, that guy was an alchemist that old guy with grey hair we're almost done here got a fair bit Maybe just one more, that'll do it. Yep, that'll do it. That's enough. All right, let's go filter that. I wonder if I can use that um, salt laden slime uh, for a battery, a battery electrolyte. I wonder if that'll work. I should try it. Well, I got most of the uh, finer sediment solids out, uh, and it's like, um, oh, what's it like? Just a thick goo if you like that's a good way to explain it uh, and so there's what's left and that's the um the larger solids left on the bottom so i'll just don't do anything with that for now uh, let's go back to this and see if we can make a battery yeah, i filtered it as best i could still a lot of dissolved solids um, i'm just going to put in here let it evaporate uh, the ph is six so slightly acidic uh, so i'll just leave that there and let it evaporate and crystallize. So here I'm making the anode and cathode from a uh, old aluminium can and actually it was from yesterday <laughs> uh, and a bit of old scrap copper. Okay, so here we have our outback battery uh, ready to construct. Um, I just sanded that a little bit on the inside as you can see so I'll whack him in that's a good fit actually and place the copper in there and we'll take it inside and see if we've got any sort of voltage we've got uh, just over half a volt <laughs> which is 
uh, expected because of the salt water. Uh, we'll see if it'll take a charge in a minute. Okay, give it a little while and we're up to uh, 0.7 of a volt. Uh, let's give it a bit of a kick, see if it'll charge. Okay, I've got it on charge. I've got it on 2 volts uh, and 208, 218 milliamps, for whatever reason, doesn't matter. Um, so, it seems to be charging. Might just turn it off, turn off the power and, and see uh, if it's got any charge. And there we go, 1.3 volts and dropping. Um, yeah, but there you go. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rechargeable uh, Outback battery. <laughs> uh, just a bit of fun. Thanks for watching. Catch ya.